Hello everyone, it's Constance. I have been hired by Whole Foods Market, and this is such an exciting adventure. I can't believe this. I am astounded, in all honesty. Um, sorry, I got distracted by a, a notification on my computer. Um, <laughs> but um, what happened was is I applied and with so many applications that I had put in, I totally forgot every place that I put in applications for. And so I got a call from Whole Foods and I essentially did three over the phone interviews. And I had to submit a background check, which was my downfall for getting hired at Roth's. And that came through just fine. And I got started last month on the 18th. And it has been such a rewarding experience. I cannot even begin to tell you. Like, I thought the job at Cinemark was going to be the bee's knees, and it turned out it wasn't, and I, that contributed to my downfall, and um, Whole Foods is great. Uh, one thing, they have a very lax sense of dress code. Um, you can wear if you can wear skirts, dresses as long as they're appropriate. Uh, cut off jean shorts as long as they're appropriate. Jeans. Some people come in after the gym with like yoga pants and a tight workout shirt. I'm not sure I agree with that, but um, that's just one of the perks. There's a 20% discount, even off sale items. The atmosphere there is so tremendously inclusive. Like, I thought Cinemark was really inclusive. Uh, Whole Foods has them beat. By far. They have you go through video training and it, it, it explains all sorts of things. Like, in very good terms. They explain transgender, non-binary, gender expression, um, all of those things, including things that you wouldn't think of, like hairstyles for people of color, um, and that's just really to name a few. And it's so, so, so wonderful. And the clientele, I've been really worried because Whole Foods is pricey. And for good reason, because what they do for the, the planet is really remarkable. And they take a lot of pride and care in that. So yes, things are going to be pricey. So I figured the customer base would be a little bit uppity based on the fact that 
they are higher income families or persons that come in to get these types of foods. And not to say that nothing is unreasonable. I mean, there are some things that you could find at a regular grocery store for the same price as some what we sell. Um, quantity might be a little bit less that we offer, but still, still there are some good prices. But the clientele hasn't really been all that uppity as of yet. There have been a couple situations that I've run into, and I've only been there two weeks, where things kind of frustrated me, and it wasn't... There was one situation with a customer who came through, um, she was on the mature side, I wouldn't say elderly, uh, she's older than me, but I wouldn't say she's elderly. Um, and she had me scan each item, or ring in each item, tell me the cost of that. And then tack on the next one, tell me the cost of that item, then the grand total and had me do that over and over and over again until she realized she couldn't afford what was left in her basket. Um, that was frustrating um, because we have certain stipulations that we try to follow as far as scanning items per minute and things like that, but you've got to take care of the customer regardless. And while it was frustrating to me, I'm the kind of person who has done customer service my entire life, be it in retail or restaurants, grocery stores, gas stations, you name it. It's always all about taking care of the customers. But when I get a chance to whip through some orders, oh, do I whip through some orders. Goodness. I'm interested to see where they track the items per minute scale and see where I place. Um, and it helps when we don't have official baggers. If somebody has downtime or it's slow and there isn't much going on, cashiers can turn off their lights on their lanes and help bag. Other cashiers orders, uh, supervisors also do the same thing, especially for larger items or larger carts. Um, and people do have large orders and I'm going to say the most expensive order that I have come across so far, so far, it was split into two trans, well it was split up into two, but it was the same person, but combined total was over $800. $800 in one shot. I don't know who they were feeding or if they were donating food to food banks or whatnot. Let that be their business. I just know that typically on a month worth of groceries, we spend roughly 650 bucks a month on groceries. 
which seems like a lot, but it really isn't. Especially with prices nowadays. I'm, I'm enjoying this place, and the people there are so freaking welcoming, and I remember, like, all three of the people that interviewed me over the phone each greeted me individually and said how excited they were to have me there. And that's so great. And the other cashiers are really awesome and helpful. And I'm starting to notice some ticks that are kind of starting to annoy me about other cashiers but because I've been in management before and these are behaviors that I look out for and try to correct before they get too awful. Um, I'm not a supervisor. I'm not a manager. So I'm keeping my lips shut. Um, unless it gets to be something that's getting taken advantage of and becomes unfair. Then I'll say it to my supervisors. And, and there's plenty of things to do. Aside just being on register, you can be assigned to go get carts, which is not nearly as dreadful as it would be, say, at a Walmart, where they have people specifically designed to do that unless they get behind and then other people have to go out and do it too. Um, and it's not only just the front end people that go out and get cards. It's, it's a team effort. Um, there's some people from produce who will go out and get cards. Upper management goes out and gets cards. I couldn't be happier, and I'm really, really, really hoping that my anxiety stays low, as it has been ever since I started. I ended up uh, missing last Tuesday because of a migraine, and they asked if I wanted to pick up this coming Sunday. Um, not because I missed, just because they needed somebody on Sunday. And I said, yeah, because that still falls on the same pay week. And I figured that would make up for what I lost. And then they gave me a $5 gift card for picking up that shift. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Love and lights to you all.